Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, July 17th. Good morning to you, Mark. Good to see you, Deb. Fine. Good to see you, Chuck. Collins, good to see you. Ah, uh, everybody, good to see you all. Good morning. All right, John, look at everybody. All right, guys, so uh, let's get right into it. It's been a uh, pretty fun day yesterday, huh? Had a couple of stocks that made some really nice moves. And not only that, uh, a lot of upcoming events. Hopefully, everybody's been enjoying class. Uh, just want to go over the big up upcoming events. But we, I want to start off talking about that Fran trade. And regarding about that Fran trade right now, that stock, we, a lot of you guys killed it so far. Uh, 360 all the way to 540. My God, you can call it quits right now while you're ahead. Unbelievable move. Great move. You know, that was um, stock was breaking higher highs. Nice little stock. And there was that other one, too. The CA, CAPR also, I don't know where that came from. That thing just took off from nowhere. Nice little gap up there, but that one uh, also is doing pretty well too. We're going to come back and check on that one. But, um, but let's talk about what happened yesterday because there were a couple of nice little stocks that did make some moves. And then we'll talk about the classes that are coming up and go from there. So first of all, let's, talk, let's start off uh, talking with uh, IMRN. All right. So that one, great little pop right there. Biggest percentage gainers right at the open. And then it just tanked and kept dropping. Now, just to kind of remind you about this stock right here, very, very important that a lot of you should learn, and you're going to learn this in class. Why didn't it keep going up? Why did it back off? And if you notice, it gapped up so fast and stopped there that if you didn't have your, you know, your, 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 your sell cap, you know, behind your head, and flipped your, ha your hat around and says, you know, what? I got to get out of this position. And if you were one of those people holding on it, you would have tanked with it. Remember what happened with me with Snapchat the other day. You know, good thing I got out of it because if I didn't, I would have lost triple that amount of money. And remember, the reason why most of you guys are here is not to learn how to make money. It's learning how to stop losing it. All right. Now, um, you went over the trade with TT yesterday, I believe. I'm sorry. Uh, DRZO. There we go. Uh, that one right there. Stock went from 1060 all the way to 1160, right up until about 10 o'clock. Nice little push. Then she reversed. Listen, thousand shares, 1060, 1160, thousand dollars. Take that all day. NTNX was another one that moved yesterday. Great short. And you know what? Did exactly what it should have did. It went right down to the support levels back in July and June and August right there. And came down from 27 to 24. Just a nice, comfortable short on the way down. Only thing I didn't like about it is the um, the level three volume was kind of light, kind of a little difficult. And also um, the spread did get a little bit big at, at, at some point. I, and I, I personally think the best winner, the easiest winner, the home run of the day where everybody should have traded was APRN, Blue Apron. Now, remember, they, had, they did a reverse stock split, so technically the stock really is not trading at $10. This stock literally got destroyed. Um, they had to do a reverse stock split, although it got delisted. And if you look at the chart, uh, it doesn't show that to you. Actually, I have another platform in here. Let me show it to you here in Blue Apron and show you what it looks like when it's APRN when it is not reversed. Here we go. This one's a little bit better. That's what you could. That, that's what it did look like. <laughs> okay, stock was hovering at sixty four cents, and they did a big reverse stock split. So that's basically Blue Apron right there. So anyway, stock was just a phenomenal, great winner, easy winner, comfortable. Everybody should have made money on that, and hopefully everyone did pretty well on that one. All right. So what is moving for today? Okay, so we got a couple of good stocks on that. So this watch list. Some of you are already cashed out already. Mar uh, Mark said he just made nine cents on the short. All right, we'll give him a little quick little round of applause. That money's money, right, Mark? F-R-A-N. There he goes. Let's bring it up. All right, so anyway, if you shorted this stock, I would not short on it. Um, you know, take the money and run. You know, listen. Can't go broke taking a profit, but remember the stock was a forty dollars stock. Took a huge hit. My eyes is maybe maybe it's a, maybe it's coming back a little bit. So be very very careful on shorting a stock like this. Let me just change the time frame to kind of get to see what's happening right here. I'm looking over here on my level three, my level four, and I told you this earlier. There is a very there's an eighty seven um, hundred share buyer 
that I see right now is hovering around 501. So big, big support levels right around there. Actually, one guy just popped in right now, 519 for, for 5,800. So uh, if you notice, you're not going to see it here on the level three. That's why a lot of us are moving towards the level four version where we get to see those orders. So, But don't worry, as we're here, we'll, we'll post it up there. Very, very nice stock. C-A-P-R, another one that's moving this morning. Nice little pop, 560 to 660. I don't know what happened. She just backed off, but she is testing some support levels. Resistance levels from yesterday, which is 6620. And um, what's nice about this stock, you do got some decent buyers, but I'm seeing a, a, a decent buyer right now that's hovering. He's been out there for a little while, but I keep seeing him getting executed. There was a buyer at like 633, he got hit. There was another buyer at 626, he got hit. Next biggest buy right here is 2,500 shares at 6 620. If he gets hit, this thing's going to drop down to six bucks. So I'm not a really big fan of it so far. Big, big spread. So be very careful of it. AVRO is another one moving pretty nicely here. AVRO, um, good volume, 260,000 shares of 5%. Not the greatest, but it's got some nice orders out there at 20 bucks. So I kind of like that one too. Uh, last but not least, VS. VISL, another one. This thing just, I don't know where it came from, but this thing just took off from a buck 40 all the way up to 270 and came right back down to a buck 59. Now, listen, a lot of you guys remember this stock. Um, this is that stock that we killed it on. It went from $1.50 all the way to eight bucks. Remember that, guys? Who made money on this stock? This was VISL, was just one of those beautiful. Fun runners. It was just as, as fun. We had that, what, July 10th, right? That was just literally, that was literally last week. That was literally seven days ago. Hey, who knows? It might jump again. Who knows, right? Hey, we saw that happen with, with CEI. How, why can't it happen again with VSL again? Who knows? But, uh, Ken, you made money. Ken, how much did you make on that? I think you made like five, 6000 on that trade right here. I mean, some of you guys killed it. I know you did pretty well on it. All right, so anyway, those are the stocks on the watch list. Now, everyone always, you know, I was getting a little criticism on the internet. People like, you know, don't remember, honestly. <laughs> you know what? Isn't that great that you don't remember? It's all about like, it's like you don't even remember what you ate last night. You know, as long as you know you show up to work and you enjoyed it, just keep plugging away. That's what it's all, that's what, that's what really matters. Um, now, regarding about, uh, yeah, I've been getting a couple of little scrutiny. I, I keep seeing people like, Thinking, hey, you're trading penny stocks, Faust. So first of all, let me just square something away. Here at Cybertrain University, we do not trade penny stocks, okay? I, I, I'm not being prejudiced towards penny stocks or brand name stocks. The thing is this. If we don't have level two and level three orders that we can't see, which does not allow you to see that because it's not on a NASDAQ national, you lose that advantage. That's the only reason why. If I could, I would. But if not, you know... Um, why, why, you know, it's, tr it's trading smarter, not harder. Okay. So that's the way we look at it now regarding about a couple of brand name stocks. There were a couple of good ones that did make a move. First of all, the Delta trade that I told you guys yesterday, um, a couple of days ago when it, once it broke that resistance around 58, listen, you want to do a couple of swing trades. You mean you want to do some option trade? Delta was a great trade, you know, uh, you know, it'd be great if you had it at 46, but you know what? Broke all-time highs is pretty good. You got to go back three, four years to find some support resistance levels. Uh, what else we had We here? We had uh, BJ's. BJ's also, if you, if, you, if, you, if you listen to me when I jumped in right around 23, you guys are doing pretty well on it. You know what? You could buy three times many shares of this than buying Delta, but you did pretty well. Anyway, the stock is doing pretty well. Um, you know, it, it really came and tested some major support levels on this stock right here. So it was one of the reasons why I jumped in. So if it, if it, if it breaks out, the stock could be a nice little mover here with BJ's. And I don't know what the hell's going on with uh, Uber. You know, I'm holding this Uber. It, it, the only thing I kind of like about this, guys, is it's building a little bit of a Fausto flag right here on a long-term chart. So I, I feel like it's, it, it wants to break out. It just kind of stinks because it got these nasty shakes. That's the only reason why I, I you know, kind of throws me off about it. It's very hard to day trade, guys. It's not a day trading stock. It's one of those stocks you got to like trade less shares and swing because it does got some nasty swings on it. You can see how this thing just drops like a, like a tank. All right, all right, uh, everyone. Anything I'm missing? I did not call out. Anything missing? All right. So you got the watch list, guys. 
there's there's a there and remember a lot of stuff that's going on this week okay let me just go upcoming events big big day today um hopefully everyone got the opportunity to register for the wealth 365 event please click on our email so we can get some uh get some credit for it uh but uh, click on that event wealth 365 is coming up a lot of great presenters are going to be there um you should be able to find it on the email box or send another email i'm going to be doing a presentation today and I'm going to be uh, promoting a fast track course uh, for, you know, uh, for anyone that never got education before. So definitely want to check that out. And then, you know, you got the classes that are going on. You got phase one and two that are going on this week. Great, great class. And then you obviously have Traders Talk. And then don't forget about the Trading Summit, the on-site summit that we do every year, September 10th to the 12th. All right, guys. Uh, Lita says, did you mention the XBIO? No, I did not. But she does look like a nice little short out there. Uh, the, the, it, I think the reason was that when I looked at it, it was not on my short list with my broker. It might be on yours, but that is a very, very good call right there. A lot of orders out there. Great stock. 164,000 shares. Nice call, lead. I liked it. I like that one a lot. All right? Good job. All right, guys. Listen, hopefully all you new people that are here are enjoying and learning something. And for all the... All the students, listen, we'll see you in class. And if you see something, say something. Happy trading, everyone. See you back. Uh, see you in classes. Let's have a fun open.